In this presentation, we're going to look at the modes of operation of a Win Debug. So these are the different ways you can debug or different scenarios, if you will. So the first one is use a more live debugging. You can start an application from the debugger or you can attach a debugger to a running application. The second mod is the kernel mod debugging, the live kernel mod debugging. This is the most powerful mod. All the other mods are more or less subset of this particular mod. And the target can be even a virtual machine. Both debuggy and debugger can be a virtual machine. Next is the dump analysis. So dump analysis is not a live debugging. You will collect memory dump and analyze it using WinDebug. So again, two scenarios, user mode and kernel mode or complete dump analysis. So user mode dump analysis is similar to user mode live debugging. From strategies and command standpoint. Similarly, kernel mode debugging, kernel mode live debugging is similar to kernel mode dump analysis, complete dump or kernel dump from a strategies and commands perspective. Next mod is you can open a binary in WinDebug and look at the symbols of that binary, look at the disassembly of that binary and you can collect a lot of information about that binary using WinDebug. Now there are 32-bit and 64-bit debuggers. My recommendation is always use 32-bit debugger for debugging a 32-bit application irrespective of the fact that the 32-bit application is running on 64-bit or 32-bit. Similarly, you should use 64-bit debugger for debugging 64-bit application. Never try to use 64-bit debugger to debug 32-bit application running on a 64-bit operating system. It is technically possible and sometimes that is the last resort. If it is the last resort, go ahead. Otherwise, do not do it. So WoW64 mod is the mod in which you debug a 32-bit application from a 64-bit debugger. Now let's see a demo of the couple of mods we have seen in the previous slide. So the first mod we're going to see is attaching to a process. I have a notepad running. This is going to be the target process for debugging. This WinDebug is running in the context of administrator. So go to file, attach to process. Normally the last started process is on the bottom. Click OK and that's it. So now you cannot interact with this notepad. If I click the notepad it won't come because it is being debugged. So this is how you attach WinDebug to a process. So this is called user mode live debugging. So now another way to do user mode debugging is you can open the executable in the debugger. So you can open an exe like this. So I have selected the 32-bit version of the notepad because the debugger is 32-bit. As you can see the notepad is not started. You cannot see any notepad window because it's very early stages of notepad. So now the notepad is started. So debuggy is running. Here if you want to debug I can break into the debuggy. So now I cannot interact with this notepad. If I click on the background it won't come. So the next mod is our live kernel debugging. Two presentations coming up explaining how to attach a kernel debugger to a running operating system. So this is a kernel debugger which is attached to a live physical system using network cables. So if the debugger is in kernel mode debugging you can see KD here. Otherwise you won't be seeing this KD here. So if it is a kernel dump or live debugging 
you'll see this KD here. So from that you can understand the mode of the debugging. Similarly, I have another kernel debugger attached to a running VM. So this is the running VM, which is running on VM player. So we have another presentation how to do this as well. So currently I'm not broken into the VM, so I can interact with the VM. So to break that, I can press this button, break. Now it is broken, and I can see KD here. So next is dump analysis. So I'm going to open a dump in the debugger. So open crash dump. It can be crash dump, hang dump, anything. I have a kernel dump here. So this is a kernel dump which has taken using live KD. It's a tool from Sys Internals. So this is a kernel dump, that's why we have this KD here. Otherwise KD won't be there. So similarly you can open a user mode dump as well. Next mode of operation is opening a binary using WinDebug. So for that file, in that case never use open executable but open crash dump. So once the screen for file selection comes, you have to select all files. I'm just selecting the kernel. So I have opened the kernel. So any files you can select, even DLLs, sys files, exes, anything. So I can get a lot of information about this binary. Also I can reverse engineer any functions which I want in this particular binary. Now I can look at the disassembly of any function which I want. For example, if I want to look at the disassembly of KE attach process. So all I have to do is you have KE attach process. So don't worry about this command at this point in time. Just I wanted to show these other things possible or the basic things which we can do with the debugger. So there are other ways we can use this debugger which we have not seen. It can be connected to a remote debug session, connected to a remote stub as well. So we have seen this mode. We have not seen the WoW64 mode. So a short description on how debugger works in general. So this is again very high level view of the working of a debugger. So normally debugger handles certain interrupts which are normally ignored or suppressed by the operating system. So if you set the trap flag you can single step through each instruction. The processor will interrupt you for each instructions. So like that there are some other interrupts which handled by the debugger when it is attached to a live kernel. So I'm not going to the details of those actions. Another most important task a debugger should do is read and write access to the memory and CPU registers of the program or the operating system which is being debugged. So most of the capabilities of the debugger is derived from this particular statement. Also most of the recent advanced hardware will assist for debugging. For example break on access. x86 CPU has a debug registers which is specifically for debugging purposes. So most of these features are done with the help of hardware assistance. User mode debugger works slightly different using the debug port etc. But the working principle is more or less the same. Dump analysis is fairly straightforward. Dumps are read like a file. Debugger is processing the input 
from the file and displaying the output. Dump analysis is a special case of live debugging. Compiler, linker, loader and the operating system in general work together with the debugger to get the debugging experience. Compiler has to generate the correct assembly instructions and optimizations which the debugger understand. Linker has to generate a PDB which is needed for the debugging. Loader and the operating system does a major chunk in debugging. For example, you cannot debug a Linux kernel without patching it because the OS doesn't support it by itself. So even for user mode or kernel mode debugging you need support of the operating system. And that is it. So we have seen different modes kernel mode, user mode, dump analysis, binary those are the main modes. There are other ways to use debugger which is fairly less frequent and we have had a glimpse into the working of debugger in general and that's it. Thank you very much.